Hey, what's going on everyone? It's Justin Ryan here. And in today's video, I'm gonna give you a behind the scenes look of my office from inside my Vision Pro. So first up, we've got some widgets here up on the wall. The first one we've got is our weather widget. You can see here, we've got it synced to Cupertino. Over here, we've got our ChatGPT widget, which actually is very nice to have. I highly recommend it because you can pinch on it. It opens up a brand new ChatGPT window and you could speak with ChatGPT as your virtual assistant. Then over here, we have our main desk set up. So we've got a couple iMessage windows open. Then here, we've got our MacBook Pro M4 connected to my Mac virtual display. I love that I can have the Mac virtual display here at eye level. And then it's got three different options. We can go standard, wide, or ultra wide. I prefer the wide option. But here's what it looks like in standard. So about this size. Then if we go ultra wide, I'll show you what that looks like. And I'm gonna keep my hands in this location so you can see how much wider this display gets. All the way over to here, all the way over to here. And it has that nice occlusion here so your hands show up in front of the display. Something else I love about this setup is the continuity feature. So I can take my cursor from my MacBook here using my touchpad. I can actually take my cursor and go down to this iMessages window. Check that out. Back up to our virtual display here. You can see the cursor. Let's bring it back to this iMessage. Boom, just like that. And I could actually bounce from this message to this message without having to go back up to the virtual display like this, watch. Boom, boom, just like that. Bam. Okay, now we'll bring the cursor back up to our Mac virtual display and then look at the clarity on this as I get closer. It stays nice and clear, it's buttery smooth. I actually used to have two physical displays here on my desk, I've since removed them because nothing is better than working with the MacBook with the Vision Pro, I'm telling you that right now. In fact, I've taken one of the displays that was here and I've moved it over there, I just don't use it. Now I love doing video editing on my Mac virtual display, I find that with the ultra wide or with the wide format, it's just amazing because I have this massive timeline. I could have a full viewing window to see the video that I'm editing. Works well in an office, it works well on a plane. It's great. Now iMessages on Vision Pro is very cool. You could actually take the individual chats out of the iMessage app place them on your desk like this or pin them to a wall. So I've had times where I've had like eight chats open up on the wall and then it's got this cool parallax effect. I could pinch on a message like this, give it a heart and you could see the Northern Lights starts to move there. Or we can come over to this family chat. Let's just hold down on this message. Let's give it a laugh. And then you see those ripples through the water there. And you could size these windows super wide, super tall if you want to. All right, so here's what it looks like around my room. We've got the weather widget, the ChatGPT widget, the Mac virtual display, iMessage windows here pinned to my desk. We've got this beautiful Apple II, and you can see there with the occlusion, it's not perfect. It's pretty good, but it's not perfect. And that's because this is just a 3D model pinned to my desk. And this is actually at 100% scale. We've got our WWDC 25 media credentials badge here. Thank you again, Apple, for inviting me. That was seriously a bucket list item for me this year. Over here, we've got our clock, so we can see what time it is. A little bit afternoon here, time to get some lunch. We've got the battery for my Vision Pro. And something cool about this battery widget is it can also show you the battery levels of other Apple devices. For example, we can grab our AirPods over here, open them up, and then you can see they're fully charged. I can pull one out here. And now it shows me the battery level of both of my AirPods and the case. It's a nice feature. All right, if we go to the left here, we can see some other things I've got in my office here. So we have our photos widget up here on the wall, nice and big. This rotates through a photo album. We also have a music widget. So I can just push play here. But I don't want copyright infringement, but you could just see it's that easy. You could just pinch on it or you could actually hit the wall. Play pause, just like that. Over here, we've got some books I'm currently reading, like the Becoming Steve Jobs. We've got some meta devices, a PlayStation VR device. We've got the original Apple Vision Pro M2, some AirPods Max, iPad Pro. Then I've got some old iPhones here, like the old iPhone 4. And look how much iPhones have changed since the early days. So we've got the iPhone 17 Pro Max on the left, the iPhone 4 on the right. Look at the difference in screen real estate here. It's pretty wild. 
Makes me wonder how much the Vision Pro is going to change over the next 10 to 15 years like we've seen with the iPhone. Again, we've got the Photos widget, the Apple Music widget. Then we've got our giant Apple TV over here. So I can choose a video to watch. I've got it pinned onto the wall here, which makes it really nice and flush up against the wall. But I can make this as big as I want it or go into a virtual cinema. Let me show you what I mean. Like, let's do this. Let's go to Pluribus. And that goes straight to the video on my wall. It goes with the correct aspect ratios. And then I can go to a cinema. Here's the middle. Here's the back. Let's go ahead and exit out of the cinema. So we've got Apple TV pinned up here on the wall. I mean, even as I get closer, the quality of it just looks so amazing. Then over here, we've got a photo that has this parallax feature to it. It looks like I'm peering through a window instead of staring at a wall. So this is actually the Bora Bora environment that I've turned into an ultra wide photo. And now I'm using that as the parallax widget here in the photos widget on Vision OS 26. So we've got that pinned to the wall. Then down here, we've got our reminders widget. You can see I'm all caught up, zero reminders. We've got our PSVR2 Sense controllers that connect to our Apple Vision Pro over here. If you're not using your Mac virtual display for a while, it actually turns itself off. But then if I go back over here and I unlock my MacBook, then as I sit down, you'll see this little connect button. I just pinch that and then watch. Just like magic, it goes from my Mac to my Mac virtual display. I've got my Logitech Muse here, which is a spatial accessory, a digital pencil for the Vision Pro. Now the Logitech Muse is a pretty new device and the way that you connect it to your Vision Pro is you just hold down the little button back here on the end and it's going to connect via Bluetooth to your Vision Pro. And there are a ton of infrared sensors scattered throughout this device and that's how your Vision Pro will be able to recognize where it's at in space. One of my favorite apps to use with the Logitech Muse is called Freeform. It's one of the native apps on Vision Pro. And something else that's cool since Vision OS 26.2 is now publicly available is that devices like the Logitech Muse or the PSVR2 controllers, they are supported system-wide as input devices. So these little buttons right here, they're like a pinch. I can look at something, push the button, and it works like I'm pinching. Now apps that include Pencil Kit will automatically pair and developers can also add code in their apps to support the Logitech Muse. And check this out. So I can get my calligraphy tool. Let's go nice and broad with this one. And voila, check that out. We can draw our Vision Pro here. We can get our crayon. And just look at what I'm doing. I am drawing in space and the Vision Pro recognizes where this device is at, where the Logitech Muse is at. It's got haptic feedback, so I feel it when I'm touching the canvas. It just, it's magic, it feels like magic. And look what else you can do. You can take Freeform and you can make this as massive as you want. And I can go back to, to drawing here. So let's get some calligraphy. Hello, Vision Pro. I can drag my canvas with my left hand here. We can zoom in and zoom out. So let's put the muse in my pocket here. And with two fingers, look at this. So now my office has a whiteboard, a massive whiteboard. All right, I think you get the idea. So let's go ahead and close Freeform and it's this easy to do. You just look at the X and pinch. You'll also find a lot of these in my office and this video is not sponsored, but this is just one of my favorite drinks. They're called Amino Energy, zero sugar, great flavor, 100 milligrams of caffeine, and they're small enough that you can drink them even while wearing your Vision Pro. So cheers to that. Again, this video is not sponsored, but you could buy 12 packs of these on Amazon and my favorite flavors are grape and cherry. If you enjoyed today's video and seeing my office from inside my Vision Pro, please do me a favor and hit that like button and subscribe. It really helps out our channel. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, stay spatial.